Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the white or the bright strokes on the tree branches after you cut it from a bright background. The first step is to cut the tree from the sky and I already have a video on this channel showing you how but I'm going to do a quick step to show you how to cut a tree from a clear background. The first step is to go to the channels and find the channel with the most contrast between tree and the background or the subject and the background. In most of the images it's always going to be the blue channel. Now click and hold control or command till you see that square on the mouse and then click blue channel and that will make a selection. Now click on this icon save selection as a channel and this new channel called alpha one will show up and then let's remove the selection by clicking on the lasso tool and then clicking anywhere on the image. Next step is click Ctrl and L and that will bring the levels menu and then make a high contrast between the tree and the background till the subject is completely black and the background is completely white. And then click Ctrl I to inverse the selection and you might want to zoom in um, fix some areas like this. I'm not going to do that because it's just for the sake of the tutorial. Now select the alpha 1 channel, go back to RGB layers and add the selection to the image. Add a new empty layer, put it beneath the image layer and fill it with 50% gray and that's by clicking on shift F5 50% gray. The selection of the tree is not perfect yet. To work more on it, click on the mask lasso tool and select and mask. If you are using the Photoshop version 2022, make sure you are on the color aware and not object aware and add some radius till you see details back on the branches. You might want to add just a bit of contrast in case some of the edges of the trunk will be affected and then click OK. Now the selection will be more accurate because we restored some details on the branches. Right click on the mask and apply the mask on the image. And now we have this white or this blue bright strokes on the edges. To remove that strokes most of the people use the technique of going to layer, matting and remove the white mats. Now this technique works perfectly in some scenarios or most of the scenarios. So if this one works, you don't need to do anything uh, further. But I have another technique that is if you click and hold control or command and you select the image uh, or the subject that you are working on or the layer, this will not uh, select the uh, shape of the layer uh, as its original shape. It's going to do a like one or 0 0.5 pixel contract into the tree. So if I add the mask and I zoom in and I hide it, notice how some of the details or some of the branches are uh, getting removed by uh, doing that. We are going to use that in our advantage. And by that, I mean, I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the tree. Next, I'm going to delete the hue and saturation uh, layer mask. Next step, Click Ctrl or Command and select the tree. Add this selection as a layer mask to the hue and saturation. Now the hue and saturation is affecting the tree from the inside and we only want it to affect the strokes. Let's click Ctrl I and that will inverse the selection uh, and or the mask on the hue and saturation. Go back to the hue and saturation and decrease the lightness. Now we have removed the bright strokes on the tree. I believe the technique of the hue and saturation is working better because if you zoom in on the first one, which is we use the uh, layer and the matting technique, there is a lot of colors on the edges and you feel like there is a bevel and emboss effect on the tree. And not only that, but there is a really high contrast in the uh, edges of the tree that makes it hard to uh, edit when you add it to your artwork but in the second technique which is the hue and saturation you will not find a lot of these things uh, like that going on here like there is some colors but 
not as much as this one. And there's no bevel and emboss effect going on the tree branches. Not only that, but let's say you are working on trees that has color on the branches, on the edges, or let's say you are working on a tree that has leaves or leaves on it. If we use the layer matting and remove the white mat, notice how this black uh, color stroke is applied on the edges and it's not matching with the uh, color of the uh, leaves or the leaves. This is why I like the second technique more because you can affect the colors too. If we add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and let's remove the uh, layer mask and we select the subject and add it as a mask and we inverse the selection. You can affect the hues, saturation and the lightness. If you have made it this far into the video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Starting from the lightness and that will add the same uh, black color strokes. Not as hard as the first one, by the way. If we uh, use the colorize and let's add some saturation and let's affect the colors. As you can see, it will give it the colors that of the uh, same leaves but if you zoom in here this one doesn't have the green color so we have the freedom to change it to another color and that's by duplicating the same hue and saturation adjustment layer and that's by clicking and holding alt and slide it just beneath it let's hide the first one and for this one we are going to add a more brownish desaturated color to this one now if you add the first hue and saturation and remove the color of the first one just by using the uh, brush just like that we restored some color on this second one and this and that's what makes this technique better than removing the uh, white stroke and we can do the same for this tree right here we give it the yellow orange color and remove it from this one. If we compare the first one with the second one, this is a comparison between the first technique and the second technique and you decide what works better for your art. Sometimes when you do a high contrast using the levels, there's some spots, there's some black spots that will remain on your, on your selection. To fix that, you can go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and add a blur of one pixels and then add the high contrast again and that will remove more spots for you. Now that will mess up the shape of the tree because of the blur but when you Add the selection to the tree and select and mask. Add some radius. That will fix the shape for you. But not too much. Let's go and add some contrast. Just a bit of contrast. More contrast and just like that. Okay, that works fine. Now let's add the 50% gray background. Now let's apply the mask, make a duplicate, and let's use the layer matching, removing white mat. I'm not a fan of what it did to the tree, like there's a lot of black color on or black strokes going inside the tree. Instead, let's use our technique. Hue and saturation, inverse the mask, colorize, add some color in some areas, and remove it from the trunk and the ground. Let's add another one, and this one will be green.
and we are going to remove it from the tree. Now let's do a comparison between the first tree and the second one. This is a comparison between the hue and saturation and the layer uh, white matte removing technique. Let's zoom out and as you can see this one has a more natural uh, results while this one has this black stroke uh, on the uh, on the grass but this one doesn't. This one has some black strokes on the little tree right here. This doesn't. This one feels feels more light on the edges, while this one feels like there is a very high contrast between it and the background, which is the 50% gray. So if you add it to your artwork, you'll definitely suffer from these uh, hard edges. While in this one, you can just add it and just play with the colors uh, like blend the colors of it with the artwork and it will be more easy to work with now i'm not saying the white removing the white mat is not working fine it works fine in a lot of scenarios but in some scenarios it will give you a hard time because sometimes if you like working on a, a subject that is bright in a black background and you do remove the black mat it will give you more white strokes and sometimes if you are working on a tree and you do the remove the white mat it will give you another white strokes that's harder to fix so for me uh, lately i use both techniques sometimes i use the remove the mat technique but when it gives me a hard time or it makes the subjects more complicated to work with i just go for the hue and saturation technique and by the way you can use uh, like the levels or uh, the curves instead of the hue and saturation but for me hue and saturation make it quicker and faster to work with if we uh, change the color of the background which is the 50 percent gray let's say for example let's make it and more lightness like the color of the sky i'll say the one with the hue and saturation blends well instead of this one that has like this black strokes on the edges but this one doesn't so this is a more professional uh, result than this one. Even the grass is matching well than this one. That was it for our lesson today. Follow us on our social medias and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like to see more advanced techniques like that, make sure to get my course, the Digital Landscape Reloaded course. You can find the link on the description where I go more in depth and teach you how I make my artworks. So make sure to get that. If you got values from this video, I'm sure you will get more values in my latest video, which is for Photoshop hacks for creating a realistic artwork. Make sure to check that and I will see you in the next tutorials. Peace.